Hi everyone, it's Kathy Maxson, Craft Creations by Kathy. So today we're going to make a gnome, a Valentine's gnome, and we are going to use the Tootsie Roll bank that you pick up from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some Dollar Tree socks, and I'm going to use some fun fur that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. So I had this in my stash. So the idea came from Patty J. Good. She's on YouTube. She actually did one at Christmas time. So I never got around to making that. So let's get started. Okay, I cut off the plastic seal that was on the Tootsie Pops, Tootsie Pops, Tootsie Rolls. And then we're just gonna cut apart these socks. We're only gonna use one. So I just want to make sure turn upside down. Oops, maybe. I think she cut her sock off, but I want to make sure it's gonna fit before I cut mine off. I think she cut it off at the heel, but I just want to be safe than sorry. Okay, so yes, so you can cut it about at the bottom of the heel. Just wanted to make sure. So then what we're going to do is we are going to um, hide that uh, the raw edge of the sock. So I'm just kind of folding it under. And making it so it's not so bulky. And I have my hot glue gun plugged in over here. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna do it right below the rim. But then I wanna push that up. Let's do some more. Let's do a little at a time. Again, when you're using hot glue, just be careful you're not burning yourself. to stick. I want it so that I roll it. I think we got a little bit more to go. a little here. Right. 
So if they pull it down too much, I guess it will kind of fail. Okay, restart. to glue up this raw edge. First. Gluing up the raw edge, sticking it to itself. Doing that first. Maybe this kind of sock wasn't good to use, but that is what I chose. You can get the fuzzy socks. Okay, so now that we have the raw edge all stuck to itself, this I think these socks have all the strings. Now I'm going to stick that fold to the top of the candies. So then hopefully that raw edge will stay. Now and if they tug it down it won't tug down. First time I'm making this. So the Tootsie, Tootsie, uh, Tootsie Roll Bank is going to be obviously the gnome's body. Okay, there we go. It's all covered. And this is going to actually then become his hat. So now I'm just going to straighten this up. And since I want my hearts to be that way, so this will become his hat. And I'm going to again. I'm going to try to roll this under. Let me turn it inside out. It might be easier. See all the hairs you got there? I just want to give myself a nice smooth edge Put a little bit here on the edges These are going to be good teacher gifts. 
bus driver gifts, you know, a friend gift, co-workers. It's going to kind of go trim off some of these loose strings. Just to clean it up a little bit. And then what's going to happen is this is going to go over top here, but we're not really going to glue it on because obviously you need to take the hat off to get to your treats. So I think I'm going to go run upstairs and I get a little stuffing. So we can put a little stuffing in and I'm going to go get some yarn so we can put a nice cool looking edge on the hat. So we'll stuff it so it'll, it'll lean over and it'll look like a hat. So let me go do that. Okay. Got my stuffing. Got some, I actually picked, uh, grabbed Baker's twine because we're going to tie the top. I uh, grabbed my pom-poms that I have I had that size I have that size uh, when we tie this shut we can put a pom-pom on the end I also my got grabbed this my fluffy bulky yarn that you get from Hobby Lobby we're gonna go put an edge around the hat I am going to do that while it's on On the Tootsie Roll thing, but I did want to make sure it doesn't stick to the underneath. So I'm just going to put, and then I'm just going to make sure it doesn't stick. I just want it to stick to the hat part only. So this will finish off the edge of his hat. And that piece there, so it kind of sticks together. So again, we just want to make sure, see, so, and because what you didn't want to do, you didn't want, I didn't want to put this on. If it's, you open it too tight, you know, too much, then it'll be too big. And I could go in here and then, you know, add a little more glue where I need to. You didn't want to open it up too much, the sock too much, or, you know, not wide enough. Yes, the glue's getting me, so be careful when you're with working with hot glue. Okay, so that's going to be the edge of his, brim of his hat. I'm going to flip it this way, let it dry off a little more. And then all I'm going to do is take some twine. You can string, you can, you know, glue it. I'm just going to tie off the end. as neat as I can get it to shut. Wrap it that way, wrap it that way. I'm gonna do it as tight as I can. And I'm just gonna knot it. Triple knot it. Cut that off. So then now we can flip it back around. 
And then you see now it's just going to give us this little end here. And then we can glue our pom-pom on the end. But we're going to stuff it a little bit first. Stuffing, where did I put it? So I'm just going to stuff it a little. You know, if you had a design that didn't matter, this one, you know, the hearts were going the one way, so I wanted to make sure that the hearts, you know, were going upright, even though when you put it down, it will go upside down, but I don't really want that much stuffing, just enough to give it a little... Just to give it some body. That should be enough. Um, let's see what size pom pom. So I have, you know, this size on the end. Or I have some bright pink go. Or I had this size. So I have pink and a pink. These were in my stash. I'm probably got them Hobby Lobby. Do I want a big or do I want a little one? Well, we can, we'll give them a little one. I think I, I don't know, I think I have too much stuffing in here. So you can even, if you want, like if you had a wire, you know, like a, I don't know, 20 gauge wire or something, you could probably put a wire in here and just make it like bend how you want it to bend. So we put his hat on him. Oops, yeah, put his hat on him. The only bad thing is um, with the stuffing in there, the stuffing will be seen, you know, when you go to take the hat on and off. So do I want a little pom-pom or do I want a big pom-pom? Pom-pom's going to be bigger than the body if I use the bigger one. And then do I want to do, we'll do the small and we'll do the light color one. You could even do white if you want. We can also always just do a white one. Uh, we'll just do pink. I think it is. Stuffing away. So I'm going to kind of like part my pom pom. Stick some glue in there. I'm gonna stick it to that end. Okay, now let's cut his beard. Um, I j I've just, like I said, I had this in my stash. Uh, you want to make sure you don't cut. So when I got this, they just, the person cutting my the fabric just cut straight. They didn't know that you should just only cut through the back. I explained that to her uh, when she, after she cut it. 
just so she understood maybe for the next person. So I'm gonna do two by two. I'm just gonna mark it. And then again, you just wanna cut through this back, the backing, the backing only, which I know it is hard to do. And then I'm gonna kinda round it see why you cut just the back now you're still gonna have the long flowing beard so if you had a comb you could comb it out let's decide what we want to make our front what our back I don't think I want the edges of this the sock that way. Let's see if I do that. Okay, so the two by two. So then what I'm gonna do, that's probably about, oh, wrong leg, and half an inch down from the top of the Tootsie Roll. I'm gonna put glue on the back of here. I'm gonna come down about a half an inch, stick that there, let that set up, and then when you have your hat on, I also have these furniture buttons. These came from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just gonna give him a little nose. You can stain it, you can uh, do whatever you want. It's called a half inch furniture button. It's a 30 pack, so it's flat on the back. I don't know if you can see that, it's flat on the back. And I'm gonna stick his nose at the top there of his beard. Maybe we can make some go out so it'll be look like a must oopsie or drop it so it sticks to your table. So then when you bring the hat down, there's your little gnome. And that is what he looks like. So again, we just used a Tootsie Roll bank. We used a sock. So see, I'm gonna make another one. Maybe I won't put stuffing in. We'll see how that looks. And then all we did was fun fur, some yarn, really easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.